What's it like when uh, you get locked in with a pitcher like Tristan today and have what you guys had going? It's special, man. It's, uh, you know, we're blessed with a lot of good arms here. But, uh, you know, and, and for a guy like him who – it hasn't been an easy road this year, you know, getting sent up and down constantly. Um, everybody knows the type of ability he has. And I think this was a, a nice, like, kind of icing on the cake of a really good month or so to, I think, show everybody, like, you know, there's – yeah, we got some – we got the, the big three everybody talks about, but there's some other dudes on this team that gives us a lot to look forward to moving forward in the future. In a weekend that was – Rightfully so, talked about Miggy trying to get that 500 number. Um, what does it say to you? We're talking about Tristan, but what does it say to you that you guys attacked him, went at him, and that Tristan, you know, and those electric at bats had his best stuff at that moment in time? Yeah, man, I think we, I mean, we talked about going into it, and, you know, obviously, like, you know, it's, it's, it's inevitable that that guy's going to hit his 500 and get his 3,000 pit. He's an incredible player, but I mean, we all talked about it. Like, we don't want to, I don't want to be the guy to give it up. I don't want to be the team to give it up. Like, that's, I don't want to be a part of that type of history. So we got to go out there and we got to pitch. I mean, it, it, it didn't really change much. Like it's still Miguel Cabrera. We got to go pitch him tough. He's hitting third in the order. So we go out there and, you know, when guys like that come into the box, like we, I think we as a staff, like do a really good job of pitching them tough. Austin Candelario in the eighth, he seemed like maybe one of the few hitters of theirs who was, who was on the pitches and he looked like he might be the guy to do something. And then you caught, you made a really strong catch to catch that pop-up. After you caught that ball, did you think like, you know, this might, this might be it. This might be fate. No, I, I mean, yeah, he, he was one of the, one of the main guys, like, obviously like we get him out that the, the lineup thins out a little bit, but I mean, honestly, Harold Castro was, uh, was one of the guys like he's, he's a, he's a good hitter. He puts the ball in play. And a lot of times in, in situations like that with no hitter perfect game going on, like the guys that put the ball in play tend to be the toughest ones. Yeah, absolutely. The strikeouts. I think he had one in the, First, one in the second, then in the thirty at three, and kind of took off. Is that yeah. the scorecard plan of that Does stuff? Change? You know, what do you think makes that makes him take off like that? I mean, uh, you know, obviously he's going to have some confidence going out there, being like, "All right, we got we got a lead that that we need to hold on to." But I just tried to keep reminding him, like, treat it like a two run game. Uh, go out there and, and and really try and put him away, like right here. If you, I mean, pretty much if we can get through three, four, five innings with a with an eleven nothing lead. It basically puts us in position to to win the series, and when it's all said and done, the most important thing that happened today is there's a team trying to you know beat us out in second place right now, and we went out and won a series in in their hometown with a sold out crowd trying to see some greatness. We didn't let the greatness happen. We went out there and, and took care of business, so it was really good for us. I said it on TV, so I'll say it to you. Um, the only time all year long we've seen you on the bench not talking was <laughs> sitting next to Tristan in the seventh inning. Um, what's it like guys throwing a perfect game and he was talking to you and you weren't talking. It seemed like I, we were talking a little bit, but like, I didn't really know what to do. I mean, he was just like going about it. Like he was, he was so chill, so under control, so confident. And I loved it. And I'm over here just like, I gotta, I gotta make sure we get these guys out. <laughs> I want this for you, man. But I was trying to, honestly, he did a good job at kind of calming me down a little bit. Like he was just like, we're kind of, you know, dancing to some music, having a good time, enjoying what is something that, you know, is, is really special. And regardless of, uh, you know, getting the overall results or not, that's a that's an eight inning shutout with 10 punches against a good team. That is going to be something that 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 he's going to remember for a long time. 